So a student is given a thermometer that reads negative 1 degree Celsius for the lower fixed point and 99 degree Celsius for the upper fixed point. So he uses the thermometer to measure the temperature of some water before and after heating. So which of the following correctly describes the temperature recorded by the thermometer as compared with these three things? So the first thing is the actual temperature of the water before heating. Then the next thing is the actual temperature of the water after heating. And the third thing that we are comparing is the temperature difference recorded by the thermometer with the actual temperature difference. So let's just uh, restate that again. So our thermometer is going to have a certain reading before heating, a reading after heating, and it's also going to record a temperature difference. Is it going to be higher or lower than the actual reading before heating, the actual reading after heating, and the actual temperature difference? So let's look at, at an example over here. So we have our thermometer, and we are also going to have our actual temperature over here. So before heating, let's say our water is going to be at 20 degrees Celsius. This is the actual temperature. Now the thing about our, this thermometer is that it records negative 1 degree Celsius for the lower fixed point. So in actual temperature, this is supposed to be your 0 degrees Celsius and your upper fixed point in actual temperature this is your 100 degrees Celsius. So what you realize is that the range of here, negative 1 to 99 degrees Celsius, it's the same as your range from 0 to 100. The difference is between your upper temperature and your lower temperature is actually the same. So the problem with this thermometer is not that its scale is off. Uh, a 1 degree change in temperature is going to also show up as a 1 degree change in temperature. But the problem with this thermometer is that every temperature you record is going to be 1 degree Celsius lower. So your 0 degree Celsius actually ends up being recorded as negative 1 degree Celsius. Your 100 degree Celsius ends up being recorded as 99 degree Celsius. Your 20 degree Celsius is going to be recorded as 19 degrees Celsius on your thermometer. Now this is just an example. I don't actually know the actual temperatures of the water before and after heating. So after heating, what you're going to see is that maybe your temperature is going to be 80 degrees Celsius in real life for your water, but your thermometer is going to record it as say 9 degrees Celsius. And your difference over here, as you can see, this is going to be 60 degrees Celsius. This is also going to be 60 degrees Celsius. So what you'll notice is that the temperature difference that this thermometer gives you, the uncalibrated thermometer, is actually going to give you the correct temperature difference. It's just that all your readings are going to be 1 degree Celsius lower. So your reading before heating is going to be lower than um, the actual temperature. Reading after heating is going to be lower, but your temperature difference is not going to be lower. So Option A is wrong. So this one, when it says your reading after heating is higher, this is also going to be wrong. So now let's look at option C instead. Lower, lower, and same. So yes, this is going to be our answer. Now obviously option D is wrong because of these two.